welcome to another math video from math micros in today's video we will learn how to fill in the missing digits of any multiplication problem like this so we'll be looking at two examples let's get straight to the question as you can see this is a three digit by two digit multiplication okay obviously we need some workout of the problem to find so this is the workout of the problem and the empty squares or the missing digits that you need to find so for those who want to solve on their own please pause the video and uh, or else please continue watching all right as per the standard multiplication algorithm we know when you multiply three digit by a two digit number usually this is the first line and this is the second line right in the second multi second multiplication we usually add a zero here in the end in the ones place this is because we are actually multiplying by a multiple of 10 that is why we add a zero here so so this is going to be a zero something and a zero when added together you get the answer 7 so obviously this should be 7 7 and a zero added together is 7 all right so now we know we found out this number this is 7 so we know one of the multiplier the ones in ones in one of the multiplier is 3 so something times 3 you get an answer that ends with 7 right so what multiple of 3 ends with 7 it should, it is 27 right so something times 3 which end which is a 27 is 9 so 9 times 3 is 27 so I'm going to consider this 9 here and let's try this. So obviously when you try 9 times 3 as 27, which the carry over is 2, right? So 9 times 3 is 27 and the carry over is 2. Now we know here the number is 5, all right? So something times 3 and the carry over 2 added you get 5 so when you work out backwards you first re uh, reduce this 2 from the 5 so you get 3 so something times 3 is 3 so what is that something so I I think it should be 1 so now let's work out 1 times 3 is 3 when you add the carry over 2 you get 5 all right so far so good now we need to work out these two numbers right so these two numbers we need to know but we can work out only if we know this number or any one of this number so provided we don't have both we need to skip this for now and let's move on to the second line as you can see here the ones is as uh, zero as we all know and now here this number is six so how do we get this number we get this number when you multiply this along with the 9 so since we don't know this this means we can assume 9 times something is a product that ends with the number 6 so when you keep on finding the multiple of 9 there should be a multiple that ends with 6 so it can be 36 right 36 is a multiple of 9 so what times 9 is 36 it is 4 so I'm going to assume this is 4 so when you carry when you work it out 9 times 4 is 36 so I put that 6 here and the 3 is carried over okay so now we know 1 times 4 is 4 and when you add 3 it becomes 7 so I put the 7 here all right now we know here one of the number is 0 so something times 4 is a product that have a 0 in the ones so we need to find basically we need to find the multiple of 4 that ends with a 0 so obviously it is 4 times 5 which is 20 okay so let me assume this as 5 so 
5 times 4 is 20. So 0 is already there. So let me put this 20. So let's check this together. 9 times 3 is 27. So I put the 7 and add the 2 here. So 1 times 3 is 3. Add the 2. You be, it becomes 5. 5 times 3 is 15. We just put the 15 here since there is no carryover. Right? Let's write 15 here. So let's again check this. 9 times 3 is 27. And 1 times 3 is 3. With the balance 2, it becomes 5 here. 5 times 3 is 15. So I put the 15 straight away. Now let's go to the second line. 9 times 4 is 36. So you put a 0 and then the 6 here with the balance 3. And then 1 times 4 is 4. With and add it to 3, it becomes 7. And then 5 times 4 is 20. So I put the 20 straight away. Now when you add the first and the second line, 7 and 0, it becomes 7. And then 5 and 6 is add together to become 11. 1 is carried over. 1 plus 5, 6, 6 plus 7, 13, so 3, and 1 is carried over, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then 2 plus 0 is again 2. So the answer is 22,317. This is your second example. You can try out on your own and come back for the answers. Alright, we find the second line. And in that, the ones place, we put a zero. This is because, as we discussed, this is uh, actually a multiplied tens. So, usually the ones in the second line is zero. Now, with that in mind, we can confirm eight and a zero when added together is eight. So far, so good. Now, how do we get this eight? It is like when six multiplied by something ends in a number which is eight. So, basically we need to find the multiple of 6 that ends in 8. So, it can be either 18 or it can be 48. Both ends in 8, right? So, let me say um, I will take 48. So, 6 times 8 is 48, right? If, uh, if it is not 6 times 8, it should be 6 times 3. Uh, let's check it out. If it is not working, then we come back for 6 times 3, 18. So as of now, I'm going to take 6 times 8, 48. So with that, we have 4 in mind. 4 as a carryover and we put the 8 here. Put the 8 here. Okay. So now, uh, how we get the 0? It can be either 8 times something and uh, added with a 4, you get something that ends with 0. So... When you just go back and reduce the 4, you end, you get a number that ends with 6. So basically we need to find a multiple of 8 that ends with 6. So it can be a 16. Alright. So I'm going to try with 16. So how do I get a multiple of six, uh, multiple of 8 that end, that is 16? It can be 2. So let's try this. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 and uh, carry over 4 when added together is 20. So I put the 0 here and the carry over 2 here, right? Now we don't know any of these numbers here and we don't know this number as well. So we can't find out this number right now. Let's go to the second line. Here we have a 0 in the tens, uh, sorry, in the ones. Now uh, how do we come up with these numbers? It's just multiplying 6 times 6 which is 36 so I put the 6 here and the carry over 3 okay now 6 times 2 is 12 and the carry over 3 is 15 right so I add put the 5 with the carry over 1 so the 1 we needs to be added now 6 times something and the 1 added together ends with 5. So basically I am going to reduce the 1. It will be ending with 4. So 6 times something ends with 4. So it can be uh, 24. Right. That ends with 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. So 24 and, and, the, and then added with 1 it becomes 25. So now we got this number. We can find out these, these two missing numbers. 
it's 8 times 4 which is 32. Let's check it out um, finally. 6 times 8 is 48. So I put the 8 and the balance 4. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 and the balance 4 is 20. 0. And then the balance 2. Now 8, 8 times 4 is 32. We need to add the 2 here. Right? So it should be 34. Okay. Now let's move on to the second line. 6 times 6 is 36. Balance 3, 6 times 2 is 12. With the balance 3, it becomes 15. And then the balance 1, 6 times 4 is 24, which added with 1 becomes 25. So now it's easy to find the rest of the missing digits. Just by adding these, we get the result. Okay, so 8 and 0 is 8, 0 and 6 is 6. Right? And 4 plus 5, 9. 5 plus 3 is 8 and then a 2. So the answer is 28,968. You can uh, confirm by uh, again recalculating the two numbers. Thank you.